Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back inside Frank Crane Arena. And we have one of the two marquee... As the Indians are 2-0, and Red Hawks 1-2. And we will get you set with the Canadian National Anthem and then get you scratches and starters. Here from Frank Crane, Game 4, Day 3, 2018, President's Cup. National Anthem in the books. Let's get down and play some lacrosse. Here's scratches for the Indians. Number five, Jamie McComer. 11, Joe Hall. 19, Garrett Cree. 86, Greg Riley. And 87, Dion Winicio. For the Red Hawks, scratch number three, Dave Lamboris. Number 13, Brian Bucktooth Jr. 19, Wade Bucktooth. 24, Corey Halftown. 
Your starting goal tenors for the Indians, Brandon Miller. And at the other end of the floor, it's Ross Bucktooth. Indians, black with silver and orange trim. Redhawks, white with red and black trim. It'll be Cam Seneca taking the draw against, I believe that's 37, maybe 47 Orn Ward. We'll get you numbers as this game's going on, but this is going to be one heck of a contest between the Can-Am champs and the Three Nations champs off the face-off. Matt Ward has it. And actually, that draw was being taken by Brandon Francis, 97. He'll go off. And now here come the Red Hawks. Into the corner, Lorita scored the overtime winner in the Red Hawks' earlier game this morning. As they forced overtime late. Outside shot, kick saved by Miller. Loose ball to center. Picked up there by Leroy Halftown. James Cathers trying to back his way in. Up top, Lorita shot. That took a deflection, never made it on target. And now the ball's going to bounce free. And it'll be picked up there by Greg Cathers. Lorita, 10 on the shot clock. Lorita inside, shot, never made it on target again. That goes up into the netting. And it will be Cognawaga ball. And here come the Indians with Vaughn Harris. Indians 2 0. Red Hawks 1 and 2. As the Indians try to keep pace with the St. Albert Miners, who are 3 0. Shot kick saved by Buck. Two second shot scores. Following up his rebound was 72, Blaze Reardon. And the Indians get the first of the game. It's 1 0. So Reardon took the initial shot, found that loose ball, picked it right up and put it short side past Bucktooth. And that's a quick goal, just a minute 37 into the contest. Francis and Seneca at the draw again. Francis wins it, picked up by Ward. Sorry, that's Matt Noble. Here's Josh Becker, far side. Late man, that's Kevin Buck to Jr. Outside shot, kicked aside by Miller. That'll go into the netting. And Lee Nanakoke will start it again for the Red Hawks. Nanakoke, Buck to Jr. shot, kicked aside by a defender, never made it on target. Here's Leroy Halftown. Halftown being closely guarded there by Zach Hops. Inside feed, Lorita spins, fires, never made it on target. Hit Halftown on the way. Ball still loose. We're going to get an interference off ball by Lorita. And the Indians will take possession in their own zone. Here comes Orn Horn, 47. And he'll give it to Brett Bucktooth. Brett Bucktooth used to play for the Onondaga Red Hawks. He's got a lot of cousins on the opposition. Outside shot, Von Harris goes wide. Horn going to have to give chase. And... When I spoke with Brett Bucktooth in the hotel, he was really excited to play this game. And I know both these teams were looking forward to doing battle with each other. Not just the players were looking forward to this game. A lot of the fans here at the President's Cup were looking forward to this matchup. Far side, James Cathers. Down low. Bucktooth looks, finds Josh Becker. Becker trying to back his man in. Head and shoulder fake, up top shot, saved Miller. Had to be careful with that one. He didn't see it till late. And then he squeezed the pads to keep it away from the goal line. one nothing Indians on a goal by Blaze Reardon. Reardon, far side, Jacob Rue. Rue, what a feed to Blaze Reardon. Great look from Rue. And Reardon has his second. It's 2 nothing Cognawaga. Rue came off a pick, had time and room, thought he was going to shoot it, but instead he fires a diagonal pass to Reardon on the far side, and he easily one-times it past Bucktooth. And it's 2-0. 16 and a half to go here in the first. Okay. 
Francis and Seneca at the dot. And what are they going to call? Procedure on Francis who gives a cross check and a chop. And he's mixing up with Kevin Bucktooth Jr. Has a big smile on his face. And these guys pretty much all know each other. There are a lot of familiar faces. And don't really be surprised if there's a lot of that here tonight in this game on day three. Game four of day three. And the teams will play four aside for two minutes. And we'll just wait for everything to be sorted up with the scoreboard. And I think we're good. Here's James Cathers. Skipped it far side. Becker all alone. Shot wide, loose ball. Giving chase is Kyle Oaks, but Bucktooth is able to step in from his crease and find that loose ball. He'll bounce it up to Larita. 13 on the shot clock as the official's going to call it out. Larita shot, trying to go five hole. Saved Miller. And they'll call Larita for going through the crease. And they'll give possession to Cognawaga. Warren Horn, cross center. Leaves it there for Hank DeLille. Now Rue, Bucktooth. That's Brett Bucktooth. Rue rolls. Can't get a handle on it. Watched there by Bill O'Brien. And then Rue is pushed off the ball. Picked up there by Noble. Noble to Gerald Johnson. And he'll go back and give it off to number 26. That's Matt Bennett. Bennett, watch closely in the corner, comes all the way around, takes a big hit there, and the ball's still free. Seneca try to find the far corner, and that one goes well wide. And the ball go all the way down, it'll be a shot clock violation. And here comes Cognawaga, Ty Thompson. Near side, Reardon. Inside, Thompson. Try to go short side, missed it. Loose ball. Battling for it there is Sky Sunday. He can't find it. Triple teamed in the corner. Sunday, can he come up with it? Battling against a couple Red Hawks. It's finally going to be grabbed there by Onondaga. Bounce pass near side. Arnold gives it off to Josh Becker. James Cathers back to five aside. Cathers takes a chop, takes another, tries to get underneath, tries to go short side on Miller, and he got just enough to keep it out. Becker loses his stick. Larita has it. Larita all the way around, switches hands. Larita shoots. What a save by Miller. Actually, they're not even going to say it went on net. Becker, one hand grab. James Cathers. He'll shoot. That took a deflection off a stick. And it's eventually going to be grabbed there by Lee Nanakoke. Seven on the shot clock. Nanakoke. Larita. Backhander. That one just missed short side. And Larita, two glorious scoring opportunities on that shift alone. And we'll get a wipe in Brandon Miller's crease. And I saw a number five for Cognawaga, Jamie McComber, but Dirt McComber, the head coach of the Indians, told me that he wasn't playing, but he is out there now, so we'll try and get a number and a name for number five, but I believe it's Jamie McComber, and down the tunnel goes Kyle Oaks for the Indians, as he was feeling a little bit of pain there, and if you're just tuning in here to Lax All-Stars, my name's Teddy Jenner. Welcome to the 2018 President's Cup. Game four, day three, Indians and Red Hawks. As the two First Nations clubs go toe to toe. And this is definitely a war of attrition, the President's Cup. Nine games, eight days. It's all about staying healthy, using the depth that you can, and keeping bodies fresh. And it looks like 
Oaks is going to be okay. He's made his way back onto the bench. Here comes Vaughn Harris into the corner. Jacob Rue. He's out there with Brett Bucktooth. Rue takes a chop from Noble. Rue stripped there by Lee. Loose ball. Noble will go back for it. And he'll move it up ahead. Here's Yeet holding on to it. Give it off to Cam Seneca. Seneca to Becker. Gets a pick. Becker can't shoot it. Had Bennett cutting through. Delayed penalty coming up here to the Indians. Becker. Watched there by Ornhorn. Becker. Shot goes wide. And that'll get a whistle. And we'll get a slashing call. Who's it going to be against? And it's going to be the captain, Brandon Francis. So we'll get our first power play of the game. And Onondaga will get a chance to get one back here. Trailing 2 0, 13 0 2 in the first period. On back to back goals by Blaze Reardon. Cathers down low, Nanakoke. Up top, Bennett fakes the backhand. Diagonal feed to Nanakoke, doesn't connect, but he gets it off the end boards. 15 on the shot clock. Nanakoke, Cathers, shot, save Miller. Loose ball, picked up there by Adam Bomberry. Running the floor, flip pass, Vaughn Harris. Here is Harris. One twenty in the penalty. Now will come a slow double. Except Kevin Bucktooth drops off, so Vaughn Harris can just run, keep his feet moving. No double from the Red Hawks, so the Indians can just kill some time here. Harris and Noble just playing cat and mouse over there. And now will come a double team from Buck to Vaughn Harris. Has a lane. Harris inside. Shot. Missed it. Loose ball. Ty Thompson. 43 on the penalty. Thompson. Will flip it all the way back up top. That's 36. Hank DeLille. Now Vaughn Harris again. 30 seconds on the penalty. Francis still in the box. What are we going to call? Illegal push. Maybe even a free hand. Now Adam Yee has it. Yeet will slow it up, let the power play take over. And this is Leroy Halftown. Fakes the flip to Cathers. Here is James Cathers, down low, Lee Nanakoke. Cathers, here comes a jump. Pump fake, still holds onto it. 13 on the shot clock. Becker, Halftown, shot, save Miller, ball loose. James Cather gives chase, can he come up with it? Took a slash, and a loose ball, let's call him Jamie McComber, number five. Dishes it off to 61, Bomberry. And then Bomberry head to Rue. They got numbers the other way, shorthanded. Rue, one time feed, finished off by number 47, Orrin Horn. And that's a shorthanded goal, 3 0, Cognawaga. That's another assist for Jacob Rue. As he looked like he was going to shoot it, dipped it down to Orrin Horn, who one time to pass Bucktooth. And it's 3-0, Cognawaga, as they got a shorthanded goal. Francis and Seneca at the dot. And they will battle. Francis wins it straight behind him, right into his own bench. And that's going to be Red Hawks ball. Back to five aside. And here come the Red Hawks with Chris Larita. Larita takes a wrap check, flips it off to Nanakoke. Nanakoke, Bennett, shot, save Miller. Bennett gets his own rebound. Watch there by Orrin Horn. Bennett, pump fake, near side, Larita. Back to Bennett. He gets a pick from Bucktooth. Bennett, Larita, check that. That's 26, Nana, sorry, 76, Nanakoke. He's battling, couldn't find it. Still a hot potato in the corner. Becker's in there as well. And then a nice job by Ornhorn just to kick it around the boards. 
where Shane Francis is waiting for it. Francis will carry it deep. Give it off. Now there's Ty Thompson. In the corner, Blaze Reardon. Inside feed, shot. Nice save there by Bucktooth. Has he got a shoulder on that shot from Francis? And then Bucktooth, the goaltender, will try to find an outlet, and he has it in Leroy Halftown. Nine and a half to go in the, here in the period. Halftown gets a nice little pick from Dan Rogers, gives it near side Seneca. Lorita scores! Chris Lorita goes far side under the glove of Brandon Miller. The Red Hawks are on the board, and it's 3-1. Nine twenty-one remaining. Shot seven four in favor of Onondaga, but they trail by two here in the first. Cognawaga two and zero, trying to keep pace with the Saint Albert Miners, who are three and zero. Will play their second game of the day right after this one against the host Dynamo Timmerman, and that is one A of the marquee matchups here on day three. And then that loose ball at the faceoff was grabbed there by Jeff McNulty. He goes all the way back into his own zone. Adam Bomberry. Bomberry gives it off to DeLille. Now far side, Brett Bucktooth. McNulty, Bucktooth. Inside feed, doesn't connect. Ball picked up there by... Number three, James Deacon. He usually wears nine. He's going to wear three today. Takes a couple of chops and will bounce it board side to Lee Nanako. He skips it over to Leroy Halftown. Into the corner, Bennett, Nanako. Ten on the shot clock. Rolls inside. Can he get a shot off? Flips it up top. Deacon, four on the shot clock. And that pass can't be handled. And we're going to get a break the other way. All alone on the breakaway. Kyle Oaks, he'll pull out, feed it to Vaughn Harris who scores! Vaughn Harris in transition took a fantastic and unselfish feed from Kyle Oaks who was on a breakaway of his own and it's 4-1 as Harris gets his first of the game. Kyle Oaks figured he didn't have the gas to pull away in that breakaway. And then he just rolls away from trouble. Finds Vaughn Harris streaking down the middle. And he beats Bucktooth. It's 3-1. Sorry, 4-1. Francis and Seneca at the dot. Francis wins it cleanly. Loose ball picked up there by Ornhorn. And he comes to Adam Baumberry. And now here come the Indians on the offensive streak again. Sky Sunday. Where's 88 in black? Near side, Ty Thompson, 91. Thompson thought about it, pulls it back. Gives it off to Sunday. He gets a pick from Harris. Sunday underneath, shot far corner, missed. And that'll go into the stands. It'll be on and dog a ball with 7.44 to go. Here comes Gerald Johnson. He gets across center. He'll leave it there for Cam Seneca, 44. Far side, Bennett takes a chop. Nanakoke, Seneca, he gets a pick from James Kathers. Drive, shoot, short side, scores! What a finish from Seneca. Make it 4-2 as Seneca goes short side. Miller thought he was going to leap across the crease, and that's just great hands by Cam Seneca to twist him up, bring it back short side past Miller. And the Red Hawks have their second of the game. It's 4-2. to two. Seven twenty-four remaining here in the first period between the Indians and Red Hawks. As mentioned, the late game, the host, the Nyamo Timmerman, 2-1, taking on the 3-0 St. Albert Miners. Off the draw, Francis wins it. Rue battling, he can't find it, goes off his stick and out, it'll be Red Hawk possession. Here's Nanakoke. 
Nanakope, Bennett. Shot by S Becker. Miller didn't see it till it was off his pads and away from the front of the net. Reset the 30. Bennett, toe drag, trying to get past Horn. He does save Miller. Loose ball off the sideboards. Josh Becker has it. Becker kicked aside there by Miller. Loose ball going to go up the floor. And Lee Nanakoke will grab it. Nanakoke, near side, James Cathers. Cathers watched by Bomberry, trying to back his way in. Cathers takes a chop from Bomberry, gets underneath, shot, try to jam it, five hole, save Miller, loose ball. Who's going to come up with it? It's going to be Orrin Horn. Here comes the offense, Ty Thomas. Sorry, Ty Thompson. Far side, Brett Bucktooth. He gets a pick there from Vaughn Harris. Diagonal, one more time to Harris. Low to low, save Bucktooth. Loose ball, Thompson, fake shot. Another save, Bucktooth. Back-to-back -back saves by Ross Bucktooth. Keeps this a 4-2 game. Here comes Honor Dog up the floor. That's Clay Arnold, number seven. His brother, Croy, wears six. Might be cousin. Larita, an outside shot, turned aside by Miller. And Larita going to have to chase that one back all the way into his own zone. Larita tucks it. Gets a pick there from Seneca. Flipped it. Doesn't connect. Loose ball. Going to be grabbed there by the Indians, and they're going to run. Paul Wart gives it off. Shot. Scores. Far side. Top corner. What a finish by Zach Hops. Give another one to the Indians, it's five to two. Hops took the feed from Paul Wart, ran right past his defender, and then put it far side over the right shoulder of Ross Bucktooth. And both goaltenders will go get a quick drink of water. As it is starting to heat up here in the Hub City. This is the 2018 President's Cup. My name's Teddy Jenner. Thanks for tuning in and watching wherever you're from. If you happen to be on Twitter, would love to hear from you. At off the crossbar, an E on the end of cross. It's a lacrosse handle, it's a lacrosse pun. It makes sense. So the face-off top, Francis and Seneca. 5-2 in favor of the Indians. They're being outshot 10-8. And Francis tries to win it. He does. Ball loose. Who's going to come up with it? Seneca being chased down there by Blaze Reardon. Rue's in there as well, but it's eventually going to be picked up by Chris Larita. He's got Reardon chasing him down, but he falls. And now here comes Lee Nanakoke. Skips it over. Becker, shot, that one goes well wide, loose ball, who's going to come up with it? Bomberry, Nanakoke battling, and it's going to be Adam Bomberry who grabs it. Jumps through two defenders, over to Oaks, he'll float one near side, Zoza Regis. Ty Thompson now, Bucktooth, four and a half to go in the period. Thompson, near side. Gets a pick. Far side. Inside Vaughn. Harris scores. Fantastic ball movement by the Indians. Harris gets his second. It's 6-2. Wonderful ball movement east to west by the Indians. Not allowing Onondaga to get settled defensively. And then Vaughn Harris takes the feed. And jams it short side past Bucktooth. And it's now a four goal lead. Francis wins the draw. Who's gonna pick it up? It's gonna be Chris Larita. Larita faked it, had Miller down. Now we'll shoot, another great save there from Brandon Miller. But unable to find the loose ball, they'll give possession to Seneca and the Red Hawks. Floats it up top, Lee Nanakoke. And there's an outside shot and a goal. 
great finish. That's off the stick of Matt Bennett, make it 6-3. And Bennett goes short side on Miller. And these teams keep trading goals after Cognawaga jumped out to a 3-0 lead. They've been trading goals ever since. Dan Rogers will take this draw against Francis. Francis wins it right back to Orn Horn. Bomberry back to Horn. He's going to have to go for run. Rusty Gate check there by Adam E. He'll find Jacob Rue. Orn Horn. Down in the corner, interior feed, turned aside by Bucktooth as he denied Jeff McNulty. Noble flipped it. Nana Cook wasn't quite ready for it. He's being harassed there by Souza Regis. Halftown. Becker. He'll float high. Watched there by McComer. Larita, Becker, shot, never made it on target, and that'll be a shot clock violation with just under three minutes to go. Kyle Oaks. He'll give it off to Vaughn Harris. Harris will start the offense for the Indians. He's got Brett Bucktooth over by the Onondaga bench. Goes there now. And Bucktooth just controlling the flow. Gives it off to Ty Thompson. Thompson gets a pick there from Reardon. Backhand flip Sunday to Harris. Harris shot, save Bucktooth. And he'll go board side to number 25, Kevin Bucktooth Jr. Arnold leaves it there for Seneca. Seneca, far side. Becker, Nana Coke. Trying to find somebody in the middle. Becker posts it up. Gets it. Dispossessed by a nice check there by Orn Horn. And then the ball pops free. And it's going to be a shot clock violation. Possession to the Indians. Here's McNulty. Check that. DeLille. 36 to Rue. This is Jeff McNulty. Inside feed. Great look for Sky Sunday. Pass too high. And it'll be grabbed there by Bill O'Brien. He'll float up to Croy Arnold. Arnold doesn't have numbers, so he'll go back to Cam Seneca. Here's Lee Nanico. Greg Cathers. Larita down low. Seneca. Half town. Got to get a shot off. They do. Goes wide. It would have been after the buzzer anyway. That's another shot clock violation. As both defenses continue to be physically aggressive on the shooters. And not allow too many clean looks on target. Here's Ty Thompson. Down in the corner. Rue up high. Vaughn Harris. Harris. Takes a chop up high, no call. Thompson, Rue, one timer, save Bucktooth, ball loose. And Adam Lee and Vaughn Harris will head off the floor with offsetting minors. It'll be Red Hawk ball with 58 to go here in the period as they trail the Indians 6 to 3. So Harris and Adam Yee will get offsetting on sports like minors. So we'll play four aside for the rest of the period unless there's any more penalties called. Here's Cam Seneca. Far side. Backhand flip. Interior feed there to Becker. Doesn't connect. As Bennett tried to throw a nifty little backhand feed in. Here come the Indians. Three on two. Shot. Tried to go five hole. That was off the stick of Zach Hops, who already has a goal here in the period. He's trying to find that loose ball. And then it deflects to Ross Bucktooth. And the Indians 
will play defense for the final 30 here. Redhawks not going to pull their goaltender. But a half second difference between game clock and shot clock. Now Ross Bucktooth goes. Five on four here for Onondaga. Ten in the period. Becker shot. Save Miller got past him. But it didn't go over the line. Miller's got an open net and then just threw it down and unable to be grabbed by a teammate. And that's the way the period's going to end. 6-3, Cognawaga after one. They jumped out to a 3-0 three three lead. Blaze Reardon scored back-to-back. -back, and then a shorthanded goal by Oren Horn made it 3-0. Chris Lorita got on and dog on the board to make it 3-1. A few minutes later, Vaughn Harris got his first, and the teams just started to trade goals. Cam Seneca scored one for Onondaga. And then goals by Zach Hops. And Vaughn Harris with his second would be responded by a late goal from Matt Bennett. And that's the way things are going to end. 6-3 after one, Indians and Red Hawks. My name's Teddy Jenner. This is the 28th President's Cup from Nanaimo, B.C. on Lax All-Stars. Welcome to Nanaimo, the gateway to Vancouver Island. Located on the rich waters of the Salish Sea, backdropped by thick, temperate rainforest with their rolling hills and the rugged mountains in the distance, Nanaimo was the first home to the local Sanaimo First Nations people. For centuries they lived here in connection with the land. And in many ways, this close tie to the wilderness of Vancouver Island resonates today. In the 1850s, the Hudson Bay Company set up a trading post in the region here in Nanaimo. Today, that trading post still stands with the HBC Bastion standing guard over the waters of the harbour here in Nanaimo. For many decades afterwards, Nanaimo flourished as a coal mining town. Much of this early history is on display at the Nanaimo Museum. Today, Nanaimo is a bustling and modern urban centre on the edge of natural wonder. Experience Nanaimo's supernatural wilderness and find yourself again. Nanaimo allows me to do my passions through accessibility. Just the way that it's laid out, within 10 or 15 minutes, I can basically be from my house and doing something that I am truly passionate about. For me, it's about connection. I know a lot of people go to nature to disconnect from the world, but for me, it's about feeling like I'm part of something bigger. I feel it helps me connect to other people with similar interests and passions. Nanaimo has a little bit of something for everybody, and I think it does that little bit of everything really well. It's a place where you can discover passions that you didn't even know you had. It gives you city life and gives you wilderness life all at the same time. It has both fresh water and salt water with easy access. You don't have to travel more than 10 to 15 minutes to be on a body of water, no matter where you live. You can either be out on the ocean fishing in 15, 20 minutes, or you can be on Long Lake like we are today, enjoying some trout and bass fishing. With diving around this area, Nanaimo or British Columbia in general, it's actually rated in the top in the world. Part of the reason that we have so much life here is the colder water with lots of nutrients in the water. One of our very popular activities we do is snorkeling with seals and certain times of the year when we get the sea lions coming by us. 2,000 pound sea lion coming right up to you a few inches away from you. Just amazing. You think you're swimming along great in the water and this thing comes and does a somersault in front of you and just takes off and you realize how small in the ocean you actually are. The best part about owning a tour company is getting to show everyone the reasons why we live here in Nanaimo.
I love the culture and natural wonders here in Nanaimo and I love being able to see it for the first time every day through the eyes of our guests. Yeah, Nanaimo really is in the center of everything. I'm really passionate about regenerative agriculture because that's what farming is all about. Some of the most exciting things for me in Nanaimo are the harvest. When there's all this abundance and we're able to take our food and set it out into the community. And when we go out for dinner sometimes, we get to see our food being served to us and served to our community and there's a lot of excitement around that. At the markets we sell at in Nanaimo, there are over 200 vendors who participate and you can do your full spectrum of shopping at these markets. And so you're invited to come to the market. Currently right now we're concentrated on sourcing all our ingredients from mid-Vancouver Island. We like to utilize uh, what we can get from local farmers. Breweries, wineries and distilleries in Nanaimo have uh, really exploded in the last few years. We've got a couple great wineries. Just down the road from us at the Longwood we've got a distillery that makes some world-class uh, gin, vodka and uh, even absinthe which is pretty rare these days. We've got three breweries in town. Uh, one brew pub, uh, you can really occupy a lot of your time traveling from one drink establishment to another. We've got pretty much everything here. Well, we're sitting here at Piper's Lagoon, which is one of these little hidden gems that a lot of people don't know about. But I'm commonly often known as the Big Cheese, and I coined the name The Big Cheese not long after I started the store. There's a pretty good variety of establishments in Nanaimo now. There's some really excellent places to eat now in Nanaimo, which are doing quite nicely. We have shopping, we have all the well-known brands, but we also have a, a cute little downtown area with lots of independent businesses. Well, I think the location makes it very special. The abundance of parks and activities and outdoor fresh air things, and everyone who moves here from somewhere else comments on how welcoming the people are. And I think that's one thing that makes Nanaimo very special is the, the welcoming and uh, the amount of stuff there is to do. With its dramatic and diverse landscapes, including forests like this, Nanaimo offers so much. Impressive coastlines? Yeah, we got that. Rolling hills? Rugged mountains? Yeah, we got that too. I'm more of a country mouse than a city mouse, and Nanaimo, the city, it has enough of what I need, but just the, just the natural beauty of it. I can feel it in the pores of my skin, I can feel it in my lungs when I breathe the air. It's just something, when I get out here and I just see trees and blue sky, it's, it makes me happy. Yeah, my big thing every year is, is uh, to go down to Nanaimo River and jump in because it, the river feels like it's a healer. Um, that beautiful fresh water and the trees around it just it cures whatever ails you and uh, there's nothing like it to me in the world. I've really been encouraged, especially in the last 10 years or so, that Nanaimo is recognizing the art scene a lot more and celebrating that. And there's some fantastic festivals that happen every year and I've been lucky to be involved in a lot of those because I do live here. Some of my passions are getting out to nature, so going for hikes to a place like Ammonite Falls or Neck Point. We have one of the first wineries on Vancouver Island. We have uh, one of the oldest brew pubs. Uh, we have a bunch of craft distilleries. I like to use Nanaimo as a base for my expeditions because it has a little something for everyone. If people want to stay in a hostel, they can. If they want to stay in a nice uh, four-star hotel, they can. And uh, most people love the different variety of accommodations we have. What surprises visitors in Nanaimo is the abundance of wildlife and the immense natural beauty. I like to go explore all the different islands because they have trails and glorious forests to see, but they all have these little bays and secret little gems. And so if you're into exploring, you get a lot out of it. My absolute favorite place in Nanaimo is Newcastle Island, or as the Nanaimo First Nations call it, Seisuchin. Nature is a big part of it because when you can carve something for the longhouse, which is in our traditional dances and things, my dad will bring me up the mountain, talk to the trees, talk to the water, thank them, and just stay up there. Sometimes it's four days you stay there and 
bath, cleanse yourself, get your mind straight so there's no doubt or meanness in your mind. So just pure things go into the thing that you're carving for the longhouse. Back inside Frank Crane Arena, getting you set for second period action. Red Hawks and Indians with Cognawaga leading it 6-3 to three as they look to improve to 3-0 here at the President's Cup. My name's Teddy Jenner. You can find me on Twitter at Off the Crossbar. We'll start the period 4-on-4 four four as... Harris makes his way to the box. Cognawaga jumped out to a 3-0 lead. And then the teams would alternate goals the rest of the way. And let's see how this second period plays out. Nice to run into Scott Ranger here, former captain of the Nanaimo Timmerman Senior A Club and was a captain with the Victoria Shamrocks when they won a man cup. And looking down, it's Brandon Miller on the bench and not between the pipes, that's Edmund Cathers who will now fill the role of goaltender. Nope, that's not Edmund Cathers, my bad. I believe that's number 70, Trey Adams. Can't quite see the number, but let's go with it. Rue inside, reared and shot. Saved there by Ross Bucktooth. And he'll head man the ball. Croy Arnold. Arnold carries it deep into the zone. We'll leave it there for Bennett. Picked up by Rue, who's stuck on defense. Lorita, pump fake, rolls back. Up top, Nanakoke. He'll fire, that one goes wide. Loose ball grabbed by Adam Balmberry. Breakaway from center. Balmberry all alone against Ross Bucktooth. Balmberry pump fake shot. Saved by Bucktooth. As Balmberry tried to go short side, far side, short side. And Bucktooth stood the task. And now we're back to five aside as Harris and Yee step onto the floor. Rue stuck on the floor with defense as is Harris. Now here's... An outside shot, that's off the stick of Becker. Long outlet feed. Running the floor is Zach Hops. Hops will go back to Vaughn Harris. Harris will slow things up. Goes down to Sky Sunday. Sunday to Harris wide open. Shot scores. What a fantastic slip pick from Vaughn Harris. It's 7-3 as Harris gets his third of the night. Harris set a fantastic pick there for Sky Sunday. Both defenders stepped up. Harris slipped through the middle, took the pass, and didn't hesitate beating Bucktooth under the low glove. It's now a four-goal lead. And we have Seneca... And Francis at the faceoff dot. Francis wins it cleanly. And it was tried to be batted back there by Brett Bucktooth. He missed it. And it goes right to Adam Yee. He's double teamed, knocked to the ground. Ball loose. And Noble found it. And dished it off there to Seneca. Cam Seneca goes bench side Nanakoke. Into the corner, Larita one on one with Oaks. Larita pushed back. Skips it up top to Nanakoke. Eight on the shot clock. Matthew Bennett gets a pick from Becker. Becker rolls, fake, shoots oh, off the crossbar. And Nanakoke never touched it. It should stay here with Onondaga, and it will. 
And so Bennett will start with it for the Onondaga Redhawks. Gets a pick there from Josh Becker. Bennett dispossessed on a nice check. Loose ball in the corner. And who's going to come up with it? Bennett somehow finding himself. Becker shot high and wide. And it is number 70, Trey Adams, between the pipes. And now here comes Kyle Oaks. 76 in black with the white helmet. And he's got the big man Goodleaf in there. Reared in hard off the bench. And Goodleaf didn't have to do much. Reardon came sprinting off the bench right through the middle of the defense. He's got three to join Harris in the hat trick club. And it's 8-3 Indians. Head coach Dirt McComer saying, why do I got to be the guy that's doing this? The legend himself. Last of the Mohicans. Going to sweep, sweep the floor, wipe up the wet spot. Can hardly see him in all his camouflage down there. But McComer played in a President's Cup for Cognawaga against Nanaimo. And it was a great scene on opening night when there were players from both teams who had grandparents or fathers playing back in the 70s and 80s against each other. And they had a beautiful opening ceremony between Nanaimo and Cognawaga and a great little memorable face-off photo and a perfectly won face-off there by Vaughn Harris. Here come the Indians. Thompson, far side. Bucktooth, outside, or... Looked like it was going to be an outside shot from Jeff McNulty, but he tried to flip it inside to Thompson, and then Bucktooth bombs one down the floor, and he's had a tough time with the long bombs this tournament. He continues to throw them, and he's about 40% on throwing past center. Sky Sunday gets a pick from Rue. Harris, far side, reared it. Reared it, all on his own. Goodleaf posting up, can't find anybody. Ball free, gonna be picked up there by Leroy Halftown. Halftown will slow things up. Rue stuck on defense. Check that, that's 18, Gerald Johnson. He'll run all the way behind the bench. Give it off to Nanakope. Bennett, he'll get a pick from Leroy Halftown. Bennett works through the D, Halftown. Pump fake, 10 on the shot clock. He'll shoot through a screen, nice save there from Trey Adams. And then he'll throw a bomb. And are they going to say it hit the roof? It did. And they're going to say that it hit the ceiling, so it'll be on a dog a ball. And just checking the Cognawagi roster. I must apologize. It's Adams Trey, not Trey Adams, who's between the pipes. And so Josh Becker will start with it for Onondaga. 15 and a half to go here in the second. Indians leading at 8-3. Chop on Bennett. He lost it. Loose ball picked up there by Kyle Oaks. Oaks running. Picked up by Cathers. Rue. Diagonal feet. Oaks. He'll shoot through a screen. Miss. Loose ball. And it's going to go all the way down to Trey. Trey will find the man off the bench. That's DeLille. Try to find Ty Thompson, doesn't connect. Loose ball grabbed there by Cam Seneca. Seneca. Greg Cathers. Oh, and he throws it away. He's trying to find Bennett, but Bennett was just gonna try and come set a pick to open him up. And now Cathers, who's been out there for about a minute and a half, is still stuck on D. Bucktooth. That's Brett Bucktooth. The Blaze reared it. Down into the corner, McNulty, shot, bouncer, saved, Bucktooth, loose ball, and he'll leave it there for Matt Noble. Noble carries it to center. We'll leave it there for Leroy Halftown. Halftown 
Takes a chop from Hops. Up top, Becker. Swings it. Hard, heavy shot there from Larita. Knocked down. And he gets his own rebound. Eight on the shot clock. Outside shot by James Kathers. Rebound. Nana Coke and another nice save by Adams Trey. Loose ball. Going to be grabbed there by Ornhorn. He'll push the tempo. And now the Indians are going to run. Rue. He's got Bucktooth ahead of him. Rue through a screen. Oh, that one buzzed the tower. And then Noble had it, but he slipped. And Blaze reared him. will go all the way back into his own zone for that loose ball. Reset to 30. Blaze reared it with speed, far side half boards. Harris, Rue. Rue gets a pick from Goodleaf, who's wide open on the roll, but the big man couldn't find it. That is a very, very large individual in the name of Charlie Goodleaf. Here comes Paul Ward. Feeling a little limp there as he goes off the floor. Thompson. DeLille. Near side sky Sunday. Gets a pick by Goodleaf. Sunday. Thompson. Shot. Save. Ross Bucktooth has a man down the floor. He'll bomb it ahead. Nice grab there. Breakaway for Dan Rogers. Rogers had a stick check by Ty Thompson. Who's all the way back on defense. Great effort by Thompson. Quickly up ahead. Here's Ornhorn. Check that. Kyle Oaks. Oaks, diagonal feed, knocked down by the stick of Kevin Bucktooth, and we got a penalty coming. And Bucktooth doesn't like it. And he'll head to the box, and we'll get another power play here for Cognawaga. Leading by five, 12 and a half to go here in the period. Shots, 20-16 in favor of Cognawaga. And they'll head to the power play. Rue, Harris, Bucktooth. And trying to see who's on the far side. Blaze Reardon's over there in the corner. And that's Ty Thompson. Rue gets a pick from Harris. Rue diagonal feed, what a finish. Blaze Reardon holding the pose. Give him four. It's 9-3 is Rue. Gets his third assist, fourth assist of the night. And what a classy finish on the crease from Reardon. That's his second one-timer. And Cognawaga has scored the first three here in the period to go from a three-goal lead to a six-goal lead. The power play marker. And Reardon, check that. Yeah, he does have three. He actually has four. Weird. Four, including that power play marker. There's a heavy chop to the arm of McNulty. Just runs right through it. Sky Sunday. Thompson. Reardon. Shot. Hit a body. Never made it on target. It'll stay here. Reset the 30. Thompson. Reardon gets a pick, near side, Sunday, Reardon, McNulty, Sunday, diagonal feed, finish on the back side, that's DeLille, and that's about four or five cross crease diagonal one time finishes for the Indians, and they are in full control here, up seven. DeLille gets his first. And Sunday with a delicious feed across the crease. And DeLille might have even been behind the net when he caught that and put it in the open cage. But he'll take it. And the Indians lead it by 7-10-3. Harris will take this draw against Dan Rogers. And then Harris knocks Noble down. This will be possession to Onondaga. Here's Nanakoke. 
Leroy Halftown shot it over a screen. That one just missed the short side post. It'll go all the way down to Ross Bucktooth. And then it's thrown down the floor. Eight on the shot clock. dog is not going to be able to get it. Now Yee will, and he'll just chuck it down. Nanako, can he put one on target? He does, and he'll get his own rebound. So what looked like to be the Indians' ball turned out to be a fresh 30 for Onondaga. Here's Matt Bennett. Watch there by Bomberry. Becker shot, kicked aside by Trey into the netting. Stay here with Larita. Larita faked it. Inside, backhand, that one just went wide. As Bennett had a glorious scoring opportunity cutting through the middle. Now Bomberry floats it to Ray on a breakaway. Jacob Rue shoots and scores. Rue on the breakaway goes underneath the glove of Bucktooth. He gets his first goal to go along with a handful of assists. And it's 11 to 3. And it looks like now we'll see Edmund Cathers go between the pipes as Ross Bucktooth will be given a rest and most likely the night off. As Edmund Cathers straps on the pads. Don't forget the late night. One of the marquee matchups of day four. The host, Nanaimo Timmerman, will take on the two-time defending champs and 3-0 and St. Albert Miners. So Bucktooth looks like his night will be done as Edmund Cathers makes his way onto the floor. Although Bucktooth hasn't taken the pads off fully yet, so this might just be a quick breather for him. But we'll see how long Edmund Cathers lasts between the pipes. And at the draw, one there by the Indians, Riordan shot. Oh, there's an early save off the stick of Riordan by Edmund Cathers. One shot, one save. That's a perfect save percentage. Here's Adam Yee. Goes for a run. Pushed there by Ornhorn. Yee runs all the way around. We'll give it off to Cam Seneca and then go for a change. Leroy Halftown. Up top, Becker. Down low, Seneca. Halftown, shot. Never made it through, loose ball. And it's gonna bounce free, shot clock violation. And we're gonna get a whistle and a wipe of the floor. As we get a wipe down in the crease of Edmund Cathers. And this time it's not Dirt McComber coming out to do the duties. Looks like the head coach and GM and Three Nations Commissioner has decided to delegate duties of Sweat Sweeper. And that is a heck of a streak. Blaze reared and left on the floor, but it looks like it's going to be all cleaned up. And so it'll start top center. And now come near side Brett Bucktooth. Bucktooth plays 1 2 with McNulty. Thompson steps back. Bucktooth. Gets a big pick there from Charlie Goodley. Buck to shot, save, Cathers. Loose ball. And the big man. Goodley finds it. Reset to 30. Thompson. McNulty. Near side. Inside feed from Buck to the Goodleaf doesn't connect. Ty Thompson, one hand, takes a shot. Save, Cathers. Rebound shot by Goodleaf. Cathers with another save. And then a high hit there from Noble. And this one's going to be called. And that was a high hit on Ty Thompson. And Noble, five-minute major, going to go sit. And another opportunity here on the man advantage for Cognawaga. 
They're one for one on the power play by my stats. And let's see if they can capitalize here on the major. Bucktooth will set it up. Sky Sunday. McNulty. Sunday. Diagonal feet. Thompson inside to McNulty. He just missed it. Rue. Riordan. Shot. Kicked aside by Cathers. Loose ball. And nice job there by Blaze Reardon. Inside feed McNulty. Slow things up, Rue. Diagonal feed for a one-timer to Sunday. Didn't catch it. And then Rue mistimed his jump. And Bucktooth will find it. Bucktooth. Reardon. Riordan. One time. Sunday tried to dunk it over the top and just missed. Eight on the shot clock. McNulty. Got to put one on target. Rue. Ryard in one timer. That one bounced just wide and over top. That'll be a shot clock violation. As Brett Bucktooth has some words with the official. And play will start all the way down here in the Red Hawks zone. There's two balls on the floor. As one official started deep in Red Hawks territory. And one started deep in the offensive zone. But they'll keep it down here right underneath us. Adam Yeet fires a long bomb past the Bennett. And it's just been that kind of tournament. Even though they won earlier today, the, the Red Hawks have looked sloppy at times. And a lot of unforced errors. Here comes Brett Bucktooth. 3.30 still on the power play. 7.40 in the period with a moving clock. McNulty. Ty Thompson. Near side Vaughn Harris. McNulty. Thompson. Reardon, one time feed. Oh, what a save, Edmund Cathers tonight, Bucktooth. And we're going to get an interference penalty. And it looks like James Deacon will make his way off the floor. Two minutes on an interference call. So Adam Bomberry will come out and play Rover at center. And we'll have a full two minutes of five on three. Thompson, Reardon, Sunday, Brett Bucktooth. Huge chop on Reardon. Goes uncalled by the officials, and that one stung. Here's Adam Yee. Yee across center as the Red Hawks will try and kill some time here. Yee, triple teamed. Still has it. Keeps his feet moving and his stick free. Got to be careful not to withhold it. And the ball finally pops loose. Picked up there by Adam Bomberry. Up ahead, Kyle Oaks. Got Bomberry running with him. Oaks, Bomberry. Shot save, Edmund Cathers. Oaks has a loose ball. And they'll let the power play step out onto the floor. Sky Sunday. DeLille down low, Reardon. Charlie Goodleaf works his way through, takes a shot off the post, out of play. And it'll stay here with the Indians. And I don't really know how you defend against big Charlie Goodleaf. Backhand, Goodleaf, Reardon, shot scores. Give him five, another power play goal. It's 12-3. As Reardon took the feed from Goodleaf and put it in the back of the net he's been, as he's been doing all game long. By my count, that's his fifth and second on the power play. So it'll be four on four. As off the floor comes James Deacon. And so to the face off dot we go. As the officials just gonna have to clear some things up. I think there's an error in the penalties. 
And we'll just get a clarification here as they put up the proper times of the penalty. There should be still time on the Noble Major. Is that power play goal by Reardon canceled off the penalty to James Deacon. So looks like they'll put two minutes even on the board. Are they going to be happy with that? As the referees all come over and talk about it. And it looks like they were going to say there's exactly two minutes left on the major. So Brandon Francis just gets some clarification from the officials. He seems to be happy. And he'll face off against Dan Rogers, who went back and grabbed the wood stick. And it looks like it's a procedure call on the Red Hawks, so it'll be Cognawaga ball. Here's Ty Thompson. Here comes Cognawaga. Ty Thompson, Fawn Harris, Reardon, McNulty, Thompson, couldn't handle it, loose ball. Grabbed there by Rogers. And Rogers is going to run. He's got Deacon ahead of him. Rogers, Deacon couldn't handle the pass. Falls to Adams Trey. Loose ball. Who's going to come up with this one? It's going to be Adam Bomberry. Up ahead. Vaughn Harris. He's like, we still got the power play. I'm going to slow things up. Bucktooth. DeLille. Bucktooth. They play one, two. Vaughn Harris. Fakes it. Down low sky Sunday. Up top, Brett Bucktooth. Reared it. Around the horn. Blaze reared it. Outside shot. Bouncer kicked aside by Cathers. Up into the netting. Reset to 30. 50 on the major to Noble. Sunday. They play 1 2. Reared it. Now here comes a little bit of motion from the Indians. Backhand feed. Harris. Sunday. Shot. Saved Cathers. Loose ball into the corner. Clay Arnold in there battling. Ball still loose. Can Bucktooth find it? He can't. And it's all the way to center. Sky Sunday. Re new 30. Brett Bucktooth. Sunday. Down low. Harris. Reardon. Interior feed doesn't connect with DeLille. Sorry, DeLille. Sunday. Backhand flip. Grab there off the glass by Brett Bucktooth. 10 on the shot clock. Sunday. Tried to feed Bucktooth. That took a deflection. Ball loose. It's going to still bounce. And then Harris will just parry it to the corner. That'll be a shot clock violation. Noble out. We're back to 5-on-5 five five with 4-12 to go in the period. Clay Arnold. Flips it there for Becker. Becker tried to shoot it. Picked off right out of midair. And here comes Kyle Oaks. Oaks will find space and leave it there for Jacob Rue. Oaks will stay and play some O. Rue, far side, McNulty, shot high and wide. Oaks able to find that rebound. McNulty, nope. Diagonal feet, shot right on target, save Edmund Cathers. Cathers will give it off to Deacon. Deacon strides across center. Becker into the corner. Bennett steps back. Bennett got to get a shot off. Does that cross hand shot just goes wide. 10 the shot clock. Larita. Bennett saved there by Trey. Trey goes bench side to Zach Hops. He'll go for a run. Take a couple chops. Becker all over him. And Hops will go into the corner, Ty Thompson. Thompson. DeLille, Vaughn Harris, 10 on the shot clock. Harris, try to go behind the net. Bucktooth just uh, putting his hands up saying, why are you throwing that one? And it'll be interference call, and here comes Matt Noble. Two and a half in the second. Noble 
Tried to push past one, grabbed it out of the crease, and that's an easy call for the officials. All the way up the floor. Excuse me. Thompson was open, couldn't get the pass. Loose ball grabbed there by Adam Yee, and the speedster will run the floor. Yee. Larita. Up top, Nanakoke. Shot. That one goes right past the ear of Adam's tray. And he'll leave it for Adam Bomberry. Rue. Going to have to go for a run. Back to Bomberry. Floats it, Rue. Rue into the offensive zone. He's got a goal and a handful of assists tonight. Has it back. Diagonal feed and wasn't looking with Shane Francis. Here comes Becker. Watch there by Francis. Takes a couple of chops. Man open on the far side. That's James Kaner's pass was behind him. Loose ball grabbed by Bucktooth and he'll just flip it up. Shane Francis won't be able to run onto it. Leroy Halftown has it. And here comes Onondaga the other way. Becker around a screen. Bounce shot saved Trey Adams or Adams Trey. Nanakoke shot saved by Trey. Loose ball. And he'll drag it back into his crease. Final minute of play here in the period. In his own zone, that's big Casey Swamp, just holding on to it, trying to find somebody, anybody to pass to. Now he'll just lumber across center with a head of steam. Dish it off there to Sky Sunday. Now Blaze Reardon. Reardon drive, shoots, saved there off the post. And Edmund Cathers will look for an outlet. And he'll float it to Matt Noble. Noble. Slow three on two, finds Seneca, back to Noble. He'll shoot, or maybe that was a pass, tough to tell. And then Noble finds it off the end glass. Flips it up top, Greg Cathers. Cam Seneca driving, shooting, save. Nice job there by Adams Trey. Three seconds left in the period. And with two seconds left, it's going to be on and dog a ball. Noble and Brandon Francis, couple wood chops, and then a long outside shot at the buzzer to no avail, and that's the way the second will end. It was 6-3, Cognawaga after one, and they scored six here in the second. Slam the door as Adams Trey comes in for Brandon Miller, and the period will end. Shots 35-20 in favor of Cognawaga, and we'll go to break. My name's Teddy Jenner. This is the 2018 President's Cup from Frank Crane in Nanaimo, BC. You're watching right here on Lax All-Stars.
Hello again, everybody. Teddy Jenner with you inside Frank Crane Arena. Find me on Twitter at Off the Crossbar. Love hearing from all the fans tuning in, wondering if the game's live, what's the score. And I really do appreciate all the fans who are texting and tweeting in, making sure I've got all the names correct, especially Mama Rue, who let me know that it is indeed Trey Adams. So now that I've got that right, I won't make the mistake again. Trey Adams between the pipes to my left and down to my right, Edmund Cathers. He came in for Ross Bucktooth halfway through that second period. And Trey Adams came in for Brandon Miller just to start the second period. And it looks like both of those goalies will finish the night. As we've got 20 minutes of regulation and a 12-3 game in favor of Coggenwaga. And that'll be a crease violation. And here come the Indians the other way. It was 6-3 after one. It's 12-3 as we start the third. Coggenwaga looking to go to 3-0 here in the tournament. And tie the St. Albert Miners atop the standings. Miners play the host Nanaimo right after this game. Here's Jeff McNulty. Shot goes wide. Rue. McNulty, what a feed. Jacob Rue, have a day. 13-3. Rue looked like he was going to fire it. Edmund Cather stepped to the cross of the cr up to the top of his crease. And Rue with a beautiful pass to McNulty on the back side for probably the easiest goal he'll score this tournament. And it's a 10 goal lead. At the draw, Brandon Francis will square up with Adam Yee, who's taken a draw for I think the first time all tournament that I've seen. And he'll win it right to Dan Rogers. Rogers, Larita shot saved there by Trey Adams. And Larita will get called for reaching in the crease. And here comes Kaganawagi. DeLil comes off the pick. DeLil, Ty Thompson. Thompson works inside, shot, try to go short side, picks up the rebound. New 30. Up top, Kyle Oaks. Thompson. Thompson. It's Bill O'Brien squaring off with big Charlie Bear in front of the crease. And there have been talks that there could be some fisticuffs in this game against two teams fairly familiar with each other. A lot of people were thinking maybe Bill O'Brien, Brandon Francis might do the dance. Behind the net, shot there from Leroy Halftown. Rebound grabbed by Seneca. That pass doesn't connect to go all right to Trey Adams. And he'll drag it into his crease. And I want to thank fans chiming in that Charlie Goodleaf, more commonly known as Charlie Bear. There's Vaughn Harris. Watch there by Matt Noble. Harris runs underneath. Shot scores. Five hole. Vaughn Harris. And he gets his fourth of the night. And the Indians are running away with it. They've now scored eight straight. 17-42 remaining here. Shots 38-23. As Harris picks up the hat trick. And we'll go right back to the face-off duck. Francis thought he had won it. Didn't have anybody there to find the loose ball. Picked up by Chris Larita with speed. Larita will try to go five hole, and it's in. Chris Larita, who's probably been arguably one of the most consistent Onondaga Redhawks all tournament. As he sprints off the draw, finds that loose ball, stops the eight goal run. 
and gets his second of the game. So Brandon Francis and Adam Yee at the draw. And what are they going to call? And it'll be procedure on Brandon Francis, and it's going to be on and dog a ball. Here's Becker. Adam Yee and James Cathers pick up assists, and there's Leroy Hattown with a nice finish as that's two in a row for Onondaga. No Corey Halftown in the lineup tonight, just one as Leroy Halftown takes that feed and one times it past Trey Adams. Seventeen, eighteen to go. The hill might be a little big for the Red Hawks to climb back in it, trailing by nine now as Francis wins that draw quickly up ahead to McNulty, and he'll go back to Adam Bomber. One of the cool things about the President's Cup is being able to talk to a lot of the fans that are here from around North America cheering on their team. And I was chatting with one of the Gognawagi fans out back and he said it's really cool to watch this defense of the, of the Indians because so many of the guys have grown up playing together and are so familiar with each other. There's that shot from Ty Thompson ricochets off the crossbar. Thompson flip McNulty can't find it in the corner he goes Charlie Bear pump fake shot saved there by Edmund Cathers as Charlie Bear was looking for his first long pass doesn't connect they'll call interference and then Larita shoots one after the whistle but I believe it's going to be an interference call on Brett, Buck Brett Bucktooth it'll be on and dog a ball and Lee Nanakoke will come down and find it. Far side, Halftown. Inside feed to Halftown. That pass was too high from Greg Cathers. And then the pass knocked down by Seneca, but it falls right to Rue. And he'll push it ahead to Zoza Regis. Had Harris sprinting off the bench, couldn't find him. Now here's Blaze Reardon, gets a pick, skips it over to Harris, cutting through, nice one hand grab, shot, oh by Thompson, hit the junction and bounced out. Harris in his own zone, will just let the ball roll, try and sucker Gerald Johnson to chase him, now here comes Vaughn Harris. Slowly across center goes Harris. Adam Bomberry running interference on Noble. They tie up. Rue all the way around. Ty Thompson. Seal there by Bomberry. Thompson tried to flip it inside, and Bomberry will get called on the interference. And he gives Noble a chop, but I think Bomberry's going to go. And he will. An easy call for the official. So a power play here for Onondaga and a chance to get another one back. Goals for and against do count in this tournament when we get to the crossovers on Saturday. So being able to chip away at this lead, probably a pretty good idea if you're the Red Hawks. Half town, James Cathers, shot short side, turned aside by Trey Adams, loose ball grabbed there by Halftown. Shot, another save there by Adams. And now he'll have to try and find an outlet. Off the bench comes a man, and that's Sky Sunday. Can he find the loose ball? Still loose, bouncing. And James Cathers will give chase. That's gotta be 10 seconds, and it is. As Cathers took a chop there from Sunday. And now the power play will go to work here for Onondaga. Here's Becker. Down low in the corner, Bennett rolls off the check of Francis. Now up top, Leroy Halftown. Becker, Nanakoke, shot off the helmet of Trey Adams and out of play. 
Possession will stay here. And Nanakoke will take it in the corner. 106 on the penalty to Bomberry. 14-20 in regulation. Half town. Floats it to Bennett. Down low Seneca. Now Lee Nanakoke. Shot. Save Adams. Rebound Cam Seneca. New 30. Becker. Nanakoke. Half town. Shot wide, loose ball, knocked down by Brandon Francis. And he'll float it bench side, and the man was running off the floor as Francis wasn't really looking, just throwing it to space. And here comes the power play. Nanico. Shot, saved, Adams, Trey Adams, loose ball. Halftown put it wide. And it'll be grabbed there by the Red Hawks. Down low in the corner, Nanico. Seneca. Half town, shot. Again, Trey Adams makes a save and it goes up and out of play. 11 seconds on the penalty to Bomberry. We're back to five aside. Bennett takes a couple chops there from Brandon Francis. Up top, Josh Becker. Inside half town, couldn't find it. Seneca floats it high. Penalty is over. Back to five aside. It's Bomberry. Makes his way back onto the floor. Inside feed, Halftown, far side, short side scores. Great finish by Halftown to get his second in a row. And that's three straight by the Red Hawks. It's now 14 to six. 13 minutes to play. As fans slowly start to fill in to Frank Crane, the hometown Timmerman are next up on the docket. And whenever the Timmerman play, it's always going to be a big crowd. Tonight they take on St. Albert, which will draw quite a spectacle. But tomorrow night, the Timmerman take on their West Coast foe, the Ladner Pioneers, which will be a quality game. But also tomorrow at 2 o'clock, Cognawaga takes on St. Albert's, which could be a battle of teams at 3-0 most likely will be a battle of 3-0 teams. Inside feed, Kathers can't find it. Lorita will, he'll shoot and score! Four in a row, it's 14-7. As Lorita found that loose ball and put it five hole. And Trey Adams having a few words with the officials. Oh, he wanted to go get a sip of water as Edmund Cathers had gone for a drink. So both goaltenders will get a sip with 12.51 remaining. Temperatures reach around 24 degrees last I checked. That's Celsius for all of you wondering. So it's quite warm. I... <laughs> was mentioning in the last game just about sort of the sportsmanship that we've seen here in the President's Cup. I just watched Edmund Cathers walk off the bench, walk towards Sky Sunday, and then just push his sock down. Boys will be boys, as they say. Francis and Yi at the draw. Francis wins it, but it's grabbed there by Deacon. Deacon on run. He'll shoot. Saved there by Trey Adams. And then Deacon pulled it out of the crease, so it'll be Indians possession with Adam Momberry. He'll flip, flip it up to Orn Horn, who has a goal here tonight. And then leave it for Ty Thompson. Thompson near side. Gets a pick there from Orn Horn. Bangs it over the other side to Sky Sunday. Rui had his stick ripped out of his hands, wants a call. Will set a pick for Sunday. Outside shot, took a deflection. Thompson couldn't find it. Ornhorn does. Oh, no, he doesn't. Drops over his stick. And then he'll just flip it down the floor. And it will be Red Hawks ball, 12-12 in regulation. 7-7's seven, your, sorry, 14-7's your score. It's a seven-goal deficit. Here's Cam Seneca. Josh Becker, late man. Bennett, shot, check that. Cathers, loose ball, picked up behind the net. Shane Francis, he'll go for a run. Flip it to Zach Hops. And Hops will leave it there for Blaze Reardon. 
Reared it. Working with McNulty. And with DeLille. Comes around the top. There's big Charlie Bear. Far side. Just posting up. Now here's Reardon. Working his way in. Blaze Reardon. One hand flip. McNulty backhander just missed. And then Reardon gets knocked down by Bucktooth. They're not going to call a penalty. As it looks like Bucktooth still thought the play was live. But they'll give possession. Oh no, they'll keep possession. That's the right call. Thought they were going to call originally a possession or a penalty on Kevin Bucktooth Jr. Then I thought they might call interference. But they kept with the original play of a shot clock violation. Here come the Red Hawks and Lee Nanakoke. Nanakoke. Half temp. He's got two this period. Half temp. Skips it to Larita. Larita watched there by Rue. Playing nice defense. Pass doesn't connect. Francis bats to the board. Shot clock about to expire. And out of the top of his crease, Trey Adams. Rue. Watched there by Nanakoke. And he'll one hand it to Vaughn Harris. And Harris gets across center. Brett Bucktooth, watched there by Bill O'Brien. Check out Bill O'Brien's YouTube and social media for all his point of view view hawk camera footage. As he's got that camera strapped to his helmet. And he's often posting live game footage and chopping together some highlights and it's always interesting just to hear the the chirping between players and the chops and everything that goes on live during a game that you don't really get a feel of when you're watching online here's Josh Becker 15 on the shot clock Becker up top Larita that shot took a deflection never made it on target loose ball grabbed there by Greg Cathers Larita tried to feed it inside to Becker and it'll be picked up there by Shane Francis Francis, two on one, three on two. Francis flips it down to Sunday. And he couldn't find it. And what are we going to get? Interference. And that one's going to be called against number seven, Clay Arnold. Under 10 minutes to play here in the third. 14-7. Cognawaga leads. Sky Sunday. Blaze reared. He's got five. Reardon, diagonal feed, shot goes off the floor and into the netting out of the stick of Sky Sunday. And here comes Onondaga the other way. Reardon giving chase of Gerald Johnson. Now around the horn, far side. Cutting through the middle, Johnson, he'll take a bump there from Reardon, loose ball. And we picked up there by Nanako. 10 on the shot clock. Half town. Half town far side, short side, they'll call him in the crease. He got a push as he went around his defender, and that just threw him off cadence. And here comes Jacob Rue with nine minutes remaining in the third. Rue, Brett Bucktooth, Jeff McNulty. Watch there by Deacon. McNulty trying to get underneath. Deacon can't. Up top, Ty Thompson. Thompson gets a pick, fakes the flip, watched there by Bill O'Brien, pass to McNulty, doesn't connect, going to go all the way down the floor, and Trey Adams will come out and just deter Adam Yee from going on a breakaway. Now Yee will pick it up and run behind the net. Takes a couple chops there from Ornhorn, and then will try to find Seneca, and it's going to go all the way down Edmund Cathers. Cam Seneca. Greg Cathers. Near side, Chris Larita. Shot, turned aside by at Trey Adams. Loose ball, picked up there by Orrin Horn. He gets a little pick and he'll run to space. And then we'll slow up, pull out, and give it off to DeLille. Harris, Brett Bucktooth, near side DeLille. Late man is Thompson, he has it now. Flip it to DeLille, scores! What a feed from Ty Thompson to a backdoor cutting DeLille. And Hank DeLille gets another one. It's 15-7. 
7.54 remaining here in the third. And Cognawagi looking like they will be 3-0 very shortly. And across the floor, you can see some very interested St. Albert minor coaches. And the ball's dispossessed and stripped by Larita. He shoots it over top of the net. And here come the Indians. Kyle Oaks fakes the flip to Thompson. Now we'll give it to him. Blaze reared in near side boards. All the way far side, Sky Sunday. Oh, a huge chop there by Bucktooth on the offensive zone. No call by the official. And that's Brett Bucktooth and Kevin Bucktooth Jr. Most likely related. And now at the other end, looks like Blaze Reardon was unhappy with Gerald Johnson, whose helmet seems to be a little askewed and temper is slowly starting to flare here. As Reardon will make his way off the floor. Two minute face masking call. Both goaltenders will go get a sip of water with seven minutes remaining in regulation. First game of the day, Onondaga beat Capital Region 8-7 in overtime. The second game, St. Albert beat Oakville 15-8. And thirdly, Ladner beat Saskatoon 16-3. And here, Cognawagi. Leads on in Daga, 15-7 in the late match. St. Albert versus Nanaimo. On in Daga to the power play. Up top, Leroy Halftown. Becker, Halftown, Nanakoke. 15 on the, pen, or on the shot clock. Halftown, Becker, Halftown, Nanakoke. Shot scores. Power play goal. And Nanakoke gets on the board. It's 15-8. As Blaze Reardon makes his way back to the bench. So we'll go back to center. 6.47 remaining. And it's going to be Brandon Francis against Adam Yee again. Francis usually likes to win it forward. This time he wins it right back to his teammate Ornhorn. Out of the net comes Trey Yee. He bobbled it. Chris Larita fighting for it. He's dispossessed by Bomberry. Now, noble shot and turned aside nicely by Trey Adams. And then the Indians bench just yells for Ornhorn to slow things up. He'll run to space. Harris, shot on target, Sunday, rebound, put on target, that'll be a crease violation, and we'll go the other way, as the Red Hawks trail by seven, here comes Cam Seneca, Nanakoke, who got the latest goal for the Red Hawks, far side, Greg Cathers, Nanakoke, gets a pick there from Seneca, skips it over, to Bennett, Bennett tries to get underneath, shot, that one goes wide, actually got a piece of it, was Trey Adams, now Rue gonna run on a breakaway, Jacob Rue all alone, Rue trying to go far side, that one hit the post, and that loose ball goes all the way to Bennett, and he picks it up, takes a couple chops there from Paul Ward and his Woody, and then they'll try the hidden ball trick, didn't quite work, here's James Cathers, Cathers trying to back in Paul Ward. Cathers, 10 on the shot clock. Step back shot, half town, rebound. Cathers shot. Oh, nice save there by Trey Adams. Two in succession from Adams, who's been strong since coming in for Brandon Miller after the first. Here's Brett Bucktooth. Takes a chop, bounces it to Bomberry. Bucktooth, and those two just... Playing one, two, down into the corner. DeLille, Bucktooth, long outside shot. That one goes on target, but after the buzzer, and it looks like 
The Indians are content just to waste 30 and kill some time. Here's Becker. He'll give it off to Seneca. Becker. Iso far side on Francis. Shot goes wide. Seneca. Looks like Becker wore a nasty chop from Brandon Francis and will make his way off the floor. And now here comes Orn Horn. And he'll give it off to Vaughn Harris. Four minutes in regulation. Swim move by Harris. He gives it off to McNulty. Bucktooth. Sky Sunday. Near side McNulty. Inside feet Thompson. Still has it. Thompson. Double teamed and falls to the ground. And it'll be possession on Indaga. And we'll get a wipe of the floor in front of Edmund Cathers. Both goaltenders will go for a drink. And so we're going to get a wipe of the floor. And we'll play the final 341. Games tomorrow, starting at 8 a.m., Oakville takes on Capital Region, Onondaga Ladner at 11, St. Albert Cognowagi at 2, Saskatoon Capital Region at 5, and Ladner Nanaimo at 8. So Ladner and Capital Region are the two teams that get to do the double dip on Wednesday. And our floor is wiped. Both goaltenders return to their respective nets. And here comes Leroy Halftown. Halftown. Washed by Rue. Gives it off to Bennett. Bennett gets a pick there from Becker. Lurita. Try to go inside. Pass knocked down. Ball still loose. And it's going to be grabbed there by Zose Regis. Regis. Will go all the way back to Bombay in his own zone. Slow and methodical here for Cognawaga. There comes big Charlie Bear. Sporting the wood stick in the final three minutes on the offensive zone. Bomberry watched by Arnold. And then Bomberry will just roll it to the corner. Waste the 30 possession. And here come the Red Hawks. Adam Yee to Becker. And they're not going to pull their goalie when it's a seven goal spread with two minutes to go. 2.45 to be exact. Greg Kather shot. Turned aside there by Trey Adams. Ball loose. Bomberry battling. Finds it. He'll go for a run. Leave it there for Thompson. He'll shoot the elevator low to high. Missed. And here comes Deacon the other way running. Doesn't have numbers so he'll slow things up. Give it off to Half town. And half town will flip it to Nanakoke. Nanakoke to half town. Down low. Bennett back in his way in. Takes a couple chops. Shot saved there by Adams. Loose ball. Francis chopping away. Reset the 30. Deacon shot. Put it wide. Loose ball fouls to half town. Now Nanakoke shot. Shoulder save Adams. And that will bounce all the way across center. And Dan Rogers is there to back it up. Rogers. Far side. Becker. Greg Cathers. James Cathers shot goes wide. Loose ball. Grabbed there by the Indians. Ornhorn is way up ahead of the play. He has it. 90 seconds in regulation. Ornhorn. No, no reason to go near the net. Ty Thompson has it. And he'll feed it to Horn. Horn. Near side McNulty. Six on the shot clock. As we approach the final minute, McNulty takes a chop to the back and then Orrin Horn will chuck it down the floor as Thompson and Ward chop each other. And check that, that's Thompson and Noble. 
There's like 30 guys on the floor right now. <laughs> no too many men call for either team. I think both teams would just like to run the clock and get out of here. Here's Adam Yee, under a minute to go. Lorita, pump fake. Trying to find anybody. Inside feed, Becker with a one-handed attempt. Loose ball grabbed there by Bomberry. Adam Bomberry just runs to space. Swim move, split dodge, you name it, he's got it all. And then Bomberry will flip it back to Jacob Rue. 20 in the shot clock, 10 second differential game and shot. Rue. Sky Sunday. And he'll just chuck it down the floor. And that'll pretty much do it in the final 10 seconds of regulation. Adam Yee. Rogers. Pass knocked down. Three seconds on the clock. And Bombury will just chuck it. And the Indians are 3 0. And they are tied at the top with St. Albert. Final score, 15-8 in favor of Cognawaga. They led 6-3, 12-3, and 15-8 is your final. Blaze Reardon was an absolute beast. And we'll get you our game MVP shortly. Bear with us and we'll get you on your way. And you can just see how friendly both these teams are with each other. Handshakes, hugs. Both these teams are staying in the same hotel as each other, so I'm sure there'll be some cold ones split between the two. And we will get you your players of the game and get you on your way. Dan Marshall will have the final call of the night. Timmerman against St. Albert in which will be the 1A marquee game of the day. So here are your MVPs of the game. Leroy, Leroy Halftown, your player of the game for Onondaga. He was Going hard all game long. And we'll get to your player of the game for Cognawaga. No real surprise who it's going to be. He was a beast all night long. Number 72, Blaze Reardon. A guy who plays field lacrosse goal and is an absolute stud no matter where you put him on the floor. And Blaze Reardon will get the MVP, the game shaft, and the gift certificate from Extreme Threads and Epic Lacrosse. And that'll do it. As both teams are actually going to come together at center. I don't know if they're going to do a group photo or if they're going to, what they're going to do. But we'll get you out of here. My name's Teddy Jenner. You can find me on Twitter, at Off the Crossbar. Lax All-Stars is your tournament host's broadcast. And, of course, the Timmerman and Frank Crane Arena are your tournament hosts. One last time, let's get you out of here. Final score, 15-8 Indians. They improve to 3-0. Onondaga falls to 1-3. And, and both these teams will take the floor tomorrow. Nanaimo, St. Albert's up next. And that's it for Game 4 on Day 3 of the President's Cup from Frank Crane here on Lax All-Stars. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.